So now let's talk about something a little bit more advanced than all that we have been doing um, since. We want to talk about functions. So basically, what we have been doing is just writing pieces of code that has not been doing that we've not been using for much. And then uh, last time we wrote a particular application that looks quite bogus for what it's supposed to do. Um, so what we are going to be learning next would allow us to really, really optimize that code and make it easy for people to read. I mean, this code right here, it will be, it will be much simpler, simpler and uh, uh, much more friendlier and easy to even uh, maintain. So let's create a new file and call it functions.python or .py. And let's just test that this file is working um, properly. Well, I mean, let's leave it this way. So let's run it and see what happens. I get, yeah. I get my outputs so that file is fine there are no errors yet so what we want to do now is to learn how to um, create a groups of code that can be used in its uh, over and over again so what a function allows us to do is to group a block of code and then we use that block of code over and over again it's 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 just it's just very, very important to learn how to define functions because you can't always write out everything like we did in this code right here. You, you would need to group things into functions. Um, you will need to call that function in different places. Uh, you will need to share your code with others and they will need to call the function rather than editing your actual code, they just use your function and perform what they want to perform and so on and so forth. The, the advantages of writing a function is just numerous. I can't begin to state them um, one by one. So what we are going to do is to just write a simple application and then optimize it with a function. This application that I've already written, we're going to be optimizing it with a function. But before we do that, let's talk about how to define a function and how to call that function. So to define a function in Python, you start with the keyword def and then the name of the function and then parentheses, then whatever you want uh, the function to do. This is a function, that's fine. So we have been able to define a function. The name of the function is here. There are, there's a bracket right in front, opening and closing of the bracket, and then you, you do whatever you want the function to do. So let's run this code. I expect the code will do nothing because right now we are not calling the function. Right now it is just, a, a defined function that is not being used yet. So let's actually use the function. So name of function, this is how you use the function um, in your code. So run the code, and then you see it says this is a function. Now we have been able to create a block of code that can now be used over and over and over again. So let's run this, and it says this is a function, this is a function, this is a function. So basically, a function allows you to group your code in this way. Now, what can we do with a function? We can pass parameters into a function. So we can say um, count into a function and then say string format count. Um, sorry, that should be S. And right here, I can do count. So then I'll call this function and say four. Actually, this should be a D right there. Right, so let's run this code. And then we get the function, this is a function four. I mean, yeah, you know, um, it's just printing out what we asked it to print out. Okay, so we can pass a parameter. We can pass multiple parameters, uh, let's say name, and then I can say shay. Of course, this is a string. And then I can say, let's change this up uh, to say something much better. Uh, let's say string, that's my name, called function with count and then the D. So I would have to do this and then do this. We've already learned this before. If you don't know how to do this, then you can just. Um, you can just go back to the previous tutorials and try them. 
and listen to them and watch them. So we get Sheyi called function this. I can call the same function. Um, let's okay. Call the same function and say Mike called the function with count eight. And then I can say love call the function nine. So if I run this code, I get you see, you get what I mean. So we've been able to create a block of code that we can keep using and reuse as many times as we want. So let's let's do something a little bit interesting now. Let's say my code is going to print out name in count ways. We've already done this. Um, so let's run this code. And then I get my name printed out in four places. Of course, I can add um, a space here. And you see, I get my name called out in four places. Of course, you can still try this with others and do 10. And I get Mike called in 10 places. 